Let's go party. Woo. Feels a bit strange to celebrate, doesn't it? Not so long ago, King Joffrey sat on the Iron Throne. Tommen is our king now. Long may he reign. Sarah! I was worried you'd run off with your friend there. And what if I did? I'm not sure I could blame you. This is Lady Mira Forrester. Mira, Lord Garibald Tarwick. She's quite lovely. Where have you been hiding her? You're making her blush. It turns out to be him. Sarah's lovelier than us all. I won't argue there. It's quite a feast, isn't it? Just be careful around the wine. Though I hear you don't partake yourself. It's easy to forget. Nothing you do in King's Landing goes unnoticed. Drink too much once and you're forever the drunken fool. Talk to the wrong people oh, and... Oh, Lord Tarwick! Who is this man? What was that about? Nothing. That subject isn't fit for your delicate ears anyway. <gasps> My ears are not delicate. Of course they are. Look how tiny they are. <laughs> Little loads. <Stop> it. <laughs> what? I mean it. Someone caught your Suspicious eye. Suspicious staring. My apologies. I just noticed Lord Zandros and Morgren over there. What a shame. Ruining a perfectly good afternoon with that nonsense. Perhaps someone should encourage them to argue elsewhere. If you'll excuse me. This reminds me of the tourney at Lannisport. You wouldn't Ooh, believe them. You told me this story. But you would have loved it. We danced all evening, drank wine from our helmets. That is it! Andros, you're being ridiculous! What's going on here? Okay. And why would you ever stop dealing irons? Each drop is there no longer a demand. I can't imagine that would be the case. <sighs> no need for such wild speculations. I've simply lost interest. I'm moving on to better things, as they say. Hmm, and what would that be? <laughs> no, no, no. I oh. can see what you're doing. I'm not giving away my secrets. Um, please drop on this. It is a lot, but I know how to spend it. Hmm. But how did you manage it? Lord Whitehill trusts me above all others. That's why I'm the only one he's willing to work with. Oh, an exclusive oh. deal. How good for you, Andros. Well, I've got my family to consider. When is the last time you even saw your wife, Andros? Okay, so Lord Andros works for Whitehill. I recognise that wine. I'm not going to have any wine because I personally don't like wine. It's horrible stuff. Sarah, Lord Tarwick. Well met, Lady Mira. I hope you're enjoying yourself. Have you had any luck? Luck? With what? I saw you looking at Lord Morgan over there. This place is full of eligible men. I assumed you were on the lookout for a husband. That isn't really what Mary <laughs> interested in. Nonsense. You must have your eye on someone. Oh, don't press her, Garibald. I'm only curious. No harm in that. What do you know about Lord Andros? Look elsewhere. Uh, tell me about Andros. That man is married to his gold. And from what I hear, he never did enjoy the company of women. I should be going. Oh. Stay out of trouble, Vera. I'm going to talk to the other guy because apparently they had a disagreement. 
<laughs> uh, please, if you'll excuse me. <laughs> Lady Mira, I'm impressed. Impressed with what? That you aren't currently locked in a cell. I trust this means that you took care of that contract. How did you do it, if I may yeah. ask? I wasn't expecting to see you again, if I'm being honest. You must have made quick work of it. Wouldn't you like to know? All right. You can keep your secrets. Oh, I do that believe was the guy. King's Landing is rubbing off on you. So, what have you been up to? Enjoying yourself? Though I suppose if you're talking to me. I noticed you and Andros arguing earlier. I'm sorry you had to see that. I told him it was not the time. What were you arguing about? If you don't mind my asking. Well, a bold question deserves a bold answer, doesn't it? Yeah. I've been pushed out of the ironwood business. Go on. Oh. All thanks to my partner, the bloody imbecile. Andros is now Lud White Hill's exclusive contact in King's Landing. No matter the fact that I introduced them in the first place. It appears we have an enemy in common, Lord Morgren. I hadn't thought of it that way. Then perhaps you'll have better luck against Andros and yes. his new partner, Lyman Lannister. He's working with a Lannister? A third cousin, to be fair. Whatever Andros is up to, he clearly thinks Lyman can take my place. <laughs> Rickard! Are you done flirting with that handmaiden? We need your opinion here. Oh, <laughs> leave him in love. Please excuse me. <laughs> Let's talk to Lan that Lannister person. Lyman Lannister. Lime and Lannister. Lime and Lannister. Lime and Lannister. Lime and Lannister. Ask them you. about Goodness, Lime Mira. and Lannister. I didn't expect to see you back so soon. Please excuse me. Yeah, sorry about that. Okay, let's talk to this guy. He's drinking a lot of wine. Um, excuse me. Lyman Lannister? Shit. You startled me. As if I don't already have enough to deal with. You seem nervous, my lord. I'm not nervous. I just get clumsy sometimes. I'm... I'm afraid you have me at a disadvantage, really? Lady... Mira. Lady Mira. I'm not used to being approached so boldly. But I'm glad you did. I always feel a bit out of place at big gatherings like this. So, what brings you over here? I'm not the best company, I'm afraid. Hmm. Or were you headed for the wine and I got in your way? From what I hear, you're in the business of making rather important deals <laughs> happen. Well, I don't know about that. Come on, don't be modest. I... I really shouldn't talk about it. Andros came to me in confidence. You understand. He wouldn't be pleased, I'm sure. I respect that. Trust is so rare in King's Landing. I'm glad you think so. And just between us... Simon, What do you think you're doing? What? Nothing. You stay away from him. Oh. Andros! We were just talking. You were just talking to Mira Forrester. Forrester? I... I didn't realize. My lord? Let me say this as plainly as I can. Don't ever meddle in my affairs again! Lady Marjorie. Shit. Lady Marjorie. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you. Lady Mira? That was quite a scene over there. Are you all right? I'm fine. 
I can handle Lord Andros. It's Lyman I was worried about. What do you mean? Honestly, that story isn't fit for a maiden's ears. Just be careful around him. All right? Don't tease me, Lord Darwick. I'll keep your secret safe. I suppose I could tell you. If you'll first tell me something about Sarah. Please. Your help could save me a lot of embarrassment. I'd be very grateful, Lady Mira. What do you want to know about Sarah? Sarah Durwell. Interesting name, that. Funny thing is, the last Durwells died off almost 200 years ago. What can you tell me about her family? Something isn't quite right, but I'm not sure. You must understand, I can't court a woman just because I like the way she laughs. I've met the Durwells when I was at Highgarden. Oh? They're a small house these days, but very well regarded. Ah, right. Well, that's a relief. For a moment, I thought... And now, it's probably going to bite me in the ass later. It's your turn. Right. Lyman Lannister. Ten years ago, Lyman was injured at the tourney at Lannisport. He took a bad fall from his horse, needed milk of the poppy for weeks just to keep from screaming. Oh. And between us, he's never stopped drinking the stuff. Can't stop, actually. He spent all his money trying to get more. The man can't go a day without it. So that's why he shakes? You mustn't repeat that, Lady Mira. I shouldn't even know about it. Oh. Besides, Lyman suffered enough embarrassment. And every man's entitled to his secrets. Then why did you tell me? Because of... Well, maybe I shouldn't have. I'd hate for Lord Andros to trace this back to me. You learned that from Andros. The man's mouth is bigger oh. than the black water. Poor Lyman has no idea. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some arrangements to make. <laughs> Lady Mira? Yeah, I'm fucked. This is actually really interesting. I've got to be very careful who I talk to and who I tell things about. I heard he was killed right here in the garden. Well, wasn't he Lannister? One of their guards, but still. Oh, surely they were. Hmm. I could talk to Lyman. Or uh, I could talk to someone else. Now it's like I should talk to Lyman. Lord Lyman, we really need to talk. I know what you're up to. I won't discuss my business with Andros, so please, please, just leave me alone. You've landed me in enough trouble. Just... just leave. I think you'll want to hear this. Hear what? Either tell me what you want, or go bother someone else. Lord Andros has betrayed you. I know everything. What? Oh. What do you... The milk of the poppy. You drink it like wine. Ever since your injury at Lannisport. He wouldn't... Andros wouldn't. He's not your friend. He's been using you. I trusted him. He spilled your secrets. Oh. So why not spill his? Andros is hiring cell swords. I am so Hundreds just like manipulative. What? He's building an army for Lord Whitehill, big enough to march against Ironrath. But Andros is doing it in secret. No one knows. Or at least, he doesn't want anyone to know. I told him I'd keep quiet, but... Lord Whitehill won't be slaughtering anybody. With an army that size, he'll slaughter whoever he wants. But this is... You blood. 
bloody traitor. You promised me. Then you told everyone? What are you talking about? You're a liar. I should never have trusted you. She told me everything. Oh. Is that stop? Lady Mera, you've just made a very grave error. Very grave indeed. Don't tell me you're afraid of a handmaiden. Oh. He's gone red. He is not happy. <laughs> I'm feeling the sus coming from my PC right now. The sus vibe is strong. The sus is strong in this one. <laughs>